How do we go about, as, as a company, selecting the right and appropriate uh, products and services for our clients? Well, there's two processes that we really take. The first process is identifying what's needed during a specific emergency. Right. And so we looked at all of the topics that we built into our game plan and said these are the most likely items that you might come across or you might need during a, during a survival situation. And so that's, that's kind of step one, mm -hmm. so identifying what products do we need in the first place. And then step two is we know products come in varying degrees of quality. You've got really low quality all the way up to you know, high quality. Mm -hmm. We look for serviceable. That's a word that I used. Uh, uh, it's serviceable. So it's going to last for the amount of time that we need it to last for. And then it's, uh, you know, so we're not always recommending the most expensive item, mm -hmm. and we're not always recommending the, most, you know, the lowest cost item. But sometimes we do both. So if an item needs to be top, top quality, right. you know, it's like a uh, flashlight, for example. Mm -hmm. If I drop my flashlight and it never works and I need it, then I don't have a flashlight. Right. So we want to make sure that we have uh, a flashlight that we recommend that works, that mm -hmm. we can drop or you know, it doesn't necessarily need batteries. We recommend the uh, solar winding, uh, hand crank solar uh, flashlight. Right. So we don't have to worry about when I need it, are the batteries going to work? Right. That kind of thing. So that's there's a lot of thought that comes into each product that we select and what we put into our recommended kits for people. And one of the, uh, I think, most challenging things about being prepared is um, sorting through all of the options, right? So there are a lot of manufacturers out there and a lot of different types of products. I mean, there's <laughs> thousands and thousands of flashlights. So, you know, how do you go about picking the right one and how do our clients know that they've got a serviceable or, or a quality flashlight? Right. Well, I'd like to just say, trust us. Trust us, okay, good. <laughs> but, you know, we, uh, one of the things that we're, we're, we, we are getting ready to launch and do on Facebook and Twitter are uh, testing of items. Right. And so when we pick an item, you know, we've done these things, but we want to record them and mm -hmm. document them and then put them out there so that people can see kind of for themselves that, hey, this is a really good, uh, really good product. But a lot of it is, you know, we, we order the items, right. we look at them, we, we play around with them, we make sure that they do what we want them to do, mm -hmm. and then, uh, then make the determination, does that fit into our model or what we want to offer to people? And mm -hmm. so that's kind of the answer to that. And I think, it, is, is it fair to say that most of the stuff that we offer to our clients, we've tried ourselves. Uh, a specific example comes to mind when we uh, had dinner um, <laughs> one evening with your family, yes. and uh, we made dinner out of all of our, our SOS bars and food rations. Yeah, right. yeah, so uh, that is very safe to say. We would look at, <clears throat> so we have a meeting every Wednesday night. That's our. That's kind of the, the, the all of the managing partners get together and we talk about uh, strategy and where we want to go. And you know, uh, we we did a party where we had eight different types of food bars. You know, all the different manufacturers. And from that, we selected SOS Food Labs as our our food bar because it, it actually tastes good. In fact, one of the selling points that I always talk about or I mention is um, try it. You're going to go, hmm, that's not so bad. And it, but it's actually tasty, and so uh, you know we don't we we wouldn't look at those things and say you want to own six months worth of food bars right. specifically because for one you're not going to eat them for six months, two not necessarily the healthiest thing that you could possibly eat during that time period. So you know when we're looking at SOS, for example, we would say three to five days is what you want to store. You know I, I know you, me, and and everybody else that we that we talk to stores a brick in our car. You know right. it's in the glove box, or you carry one in your work bag. You know, so you always have access to thirty six hundred calories of food at any time that right. you might need it. So yeah, I mean, we we test them, we try them, we taste them, we uh, we put it out there. Right, and we're not offering anything to our clients that we're not personally using and prepared to use in the event of an emergency or disaster. That is correct. Right. Yep. Okay.